<laughs> okay, well, this this card sort of goes on quite well to the other card, actually. Oh shit! I threw that card. <laughs> In Wait. fact, it goes on very well because I need to know how to take over the world. Uh, Rich, what are you looking like out of this? Like, when you take over the world, are you like, you know, do you want it to be a dictatorship, or do you want to just destroy everything, go full apocalypse mode, or? Well, I want to take over the world. So if I destroy it, there's not much world to take over, is there? But I mean, I want no, to. But this, this... Right, let's change this. Let's change this. I want to be the next Kim Jong Il, except an effective one, and not just a fat little. North oh, what happens if he watches this? Oh god, you're in trouble now, Rich. <laughs> Bring it, fat boy. I like oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> I can't be involved in this. Okay. Oh, worth it. So, you want to take over the world? Yeah, that's right. Okay. The, the, the person who wins can, uh, you know, can help rule the world with me. They can be like my subordinate. The second in command. Mm. After what mm, you just said, I'm not sure that's appealing. Do you it's need another... Do you need? Is, are you sorted out, Jordan, or do you need another card? Or no, I think I might just end up leaving and jumping back in. I don't know if you guys can see it, okay. but I'll, I have one. I yeah. tried to drop in. Yeah, it said penguins. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's I mean, the greatest gonna... way to take over the world. I think <laughs> you need to uh, explain the penguin idea now. Okay, so you have an army of penguins. I mean, first off, they're already little sleds and stuff, so they're going to be mobile. They're going to be going all around the world. However. Because I at first I was like, oh, penguins can only be in the mm -hmm. Arctic. But lately, I was in Florida on vacation. It's freaking hot in Florida. For some reason, they have exhibits there in their zoos that there's penguins walking around out in the sun. No, so penguins are fine. Penguins are not they bothered have, like, by the Bermuda heat. shorts on. Hmm. They have like little Bermuda shorts, little t-shirt, Hawaiian t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fine. Paris I mean, sun, that'd be Paris great if they did a little pair. Yeah. Well, so if they had sunglasses on, they'd fall asleep, so they can't wear those. But the penguins themselves, um, though. They can they can be little dickheads, so you never know. I'm uh, I'm just gonna sort of uh, put this out there. Well, how are the penguins gonna help me take over the world? What can they do? They don't they don't have arms to like shoot people them, with. You could teach them how to shoot. Yeah, I've got vicious. You peeps. can teach them how to shoot guns, and, about and you don't need to have in their masses and yeah, penguins kill come with everything in their path. Quantity, not quality. I mean, the penguins I've seen are from the hit Disney movie Dancing with Penguins. I don't actually know what the film is called. I cannot remember it. Is that? Oh, Dancing with Wolves. In it. Was that the have Kevin Costner in? in? Oh wait, is it, are you talking about the uh, Happy Feet? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, so yesterday uh, you were talking about first the Morgan Freeman one. I thought you were talking about the Kevin Costner Dancing with the Wolves. Yeah, <laughs> best penguin-related film. <laughs> I okay, mean, what well, you could do is you could wait for global warming to kick in. When it gets really cold, you could huddle up with the penguins. Oh, they are good for warmth. Global warming. Else, Global warming, when it gets yeah. cold. Global warming, warming. They've changed it to climate change. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, well, fuck you guys. Who's next? Right. Taking over the world. Different strategy, though. You don't need to do it with military domination. None of that. Because, I mean, nowadays, we all live our lives. And what do we do? We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're online. That's where this comes in. Propaganda via the web, viral videos, cats waving your flag. That's what you need. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, different uh, angle, but effective. That sounds ridiculous. I mean, that sounds like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Rich, I know what you need. Okay, um, okay. What, what do I need? Jobs. You know the latest craze that's, that's taking over the world right now? What is it? Pokemon Go. Indeed, right? How old are Pokemon? Uh, 20 years old? No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're Hold 20 them. years old. They're, they're 20 years old. Okay, they're 20 you. years old. They're, they're about 20 years old. <laughs> so, it can only be a matter of time before another previous fad we had comes back. And this one's got a slight advantage because one of the tricks you used to do with it is around the world, right? So, surely there's a link there. There is. Yo yo's. I'm going to distribute yo-yos to everybody on the planet. <laughs> they will be so aghast with this new phase that some of them won't even have seen before. They'll be infatuated with it. Those yo-yos are going to have your face on it. As it spins up and down, it's going to hypnotize them and brainwash them into your way of life. Voila, taking over the world, my friend. I mean, it's going to cost a lot on postage. 
Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I foolproof this. You said my eyes are shit, and you bring yeah. yo-yos. <laughs> I mean, kids may have fun. No, I'm going to take up the world. I don't want kids having fun. Yeah, but it's once you've got them hooked. It's like crack. Yeah, exactly. And kill all the children. Once you've got them hooked, then maybe they'll strangle themselves with a string. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just throwing out, if that's, if that's your goal, Teach. I'm just throwing oh, it out there. Oh, shit. Um, okay, well... Clan boy, I mean, you could come up with anything and it'd be better than <laughs> yo yo's, it's got to be said. Oh, god, I don't think it is, but okay. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, don't don't give me a card yet. Right, you've got well, five cards, so one is left, five is the rightest one, okay? You're gonna give me the second card and you're gonna make it work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Why why do I have to do this? Oh fucking hell. <laughs> You're going to distribute dice around the world. They're all gonna they're just gonna be six sided dice. Yep. And you want this to be whoops, nearly knocked my mic over. Um you want this to what kind of leader do you want to be again? Sorry? I want I want to be a dictator. Oh Jesus Christ. Do you have to be a dictator? Yes. <laughs> Oh, the web pages might not be too great then. I uh, don't know, it could work. I mean, are you sure you want to be a dictator? I mean, I will kill you if you say that again. Okay, cool. What have you thought about the peaceful route? Totally understandable. Um, dice. So you're going to distribute them all around the world, and people will um, have to... So, like, it'll be a six-sided dice, and, like, people will uh, roll the dice every day, um, and each number on the dice is uh, one way that they can use to support your your uh, claim to world domination. So they're very loyal people. This is what the dice. This is what the world distributed dice does. It manipulates people and make them fall in love with you Jeez. and support you in every way. But they have six different ways to do it. Ooh. So, this... Oh, six ways how to... He, how is he still talking? <laughs> how has okay, this happened? Right, I'm, I'm going to evaluate you guys, okay? Um, the penguin ideas... You know, I can see the sort of... Uh, the appeal to having penguins. They're kind of cute, but they can be little fucking assholes. Which is why they're great. Um, Somebody causes when, you an issue, the penguin will take them out. Web pages... You know, you could infect their computers, their tablets, phones, and shit with spyware. You know, exactly. spy on them. And then when they're being naughty, you go, okay, this is what you're going to do. You are going to become a loyal disciple to uh, the English Gamers YouTube channel, and you're going to hit that subscribe button. If you don't, I'm going to send my boys after you, and you're going to die. A, I don't think there's a virus strong enough for that, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, um, oh, don't pick Scott. Also, this the, is how to take yo -yo over the world. Ideas. You don't have those boys yet, unless you pick the penguins. The yo-yos. The yo-yos, <laughs> yo okay? It just seems like a fun gimmick for kids. You know, I'm not about giving kids fun. <laughs> I mean, shit, no, let me rephrase that. I'm not about... <laughs> don't I'm sub not about kids. Letting kids. I'm not, allowed, not about letting kids enjoy themselves, okay? Hold on, I, my point was is that Pokemon Go is a fad that's overtaking the world. And it's not just kids playing that. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be a dictator. I'm not gonna be giving fun to anybody apart from my own penis. <laughs> Sorry, I tuned out for a moment at kids. Well, that's that's one of the options of the dice. If you roll a six, you know they spend the night with you. Doesn't, you know? But you can obviously you can okay, reject okay. this if you want. What, oh, what if I roll? I can beat this. Web pages, pornography, all the porn you could want. Yeah, but he's just he's just doing a five finger shuffle. That's about penguins. It, you know, There's so many of them. It. They're probably making their own porn as you're sitting there. No, with the, it's like the pigeons. Yo yo, do you can see how many around the world you can do when you go. You could make love to gonna... a penguin. They're probably go. quite slick. Um, okay. You I... Take your pick. It's like having I'm sex with a sled. To... I'm gonna have to give it to you. Do 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 do. It's a really do, shit do, option. Web pages. Yes. Oh, piss off. Purely, purely for the fact. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, purely for the fact that you know, I had the idea of obviously spying on everybody. 
And I think that's a pretty fucking fantastic idea. But then you'll never be a, a happy dictatorship. I couldn't just you... flying shit. I'd, I'd, I'd have taken over the world. That's not my no, problem. No, but you you won't you won't be happy inside. It it doesn't matter. Right, people, you have one week to get me to fly to the moon. Ooh. I've got the perfect thing. Okay, literally, you just need to give to all your students. Okay, you need to attach them to the bottom of the rocket. <laughs> with yeah. you're all whichever... the students. Because, hear me out, okay? With whatever you have handy. Duct tape, um, ratchet straps, cable ties, whatever. And you just need to feed them... Handcuffs. ...for a week. Chinese takeout. Okay. What? And then... Eat enough of it. Obviously, Chinese takeout... You know, you give them spicy Chinese food. Their ass is going to be in bits. Okay? And then you use the uh, the power of diarrhea. You know, you've got... <laughs> thousand students just shitting all at once and it's going to fly to the moon you're, in fact Jesus you're going to be able to fly to Mars if you so wish so just through the power us. of student bottoms I can fly to Mars through the fuel of Chinese takeaway I mean exactly. if you'd have said curry then if you had said a vindaloo or a chicken yeah. madras or something yeah chicken balls aren't exactly going to do this an egg fried rice. <laughs> that sounds that sounds ridiculous. I suggest you use hummingbirds and Ooh, lots of. Oh, I them. like it. And what's more, what's more, what's more amazing to look at flying than a hummingbird? Um, um, and, and the other thing. Just going to say something. Wait, can Stop. I just interject? I think it'd be pretty amazing if I saw a rocket with loads of student butts attached to it, shitting out profusely. You don't even need a rocket. You can just you can just lay there. <laughs> they'll they'll carry you on their backs. Okay, a question about the hummingbirds, it's pretty if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, what happens when you get out of the atmosphere? The same you thing that happens was... whenever you're crapping yourself to the moon. <laughs> you fit in with little um, astronauts. <laughs> little suits. space suits. <laughs> Tiny little space suits. <laughs> <laughs> what, what could possibly go wrong? Someone All please right. Photoshop this. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I will do. Well, I guess everybody else will be distracted with that, so I'll try and throw this out there. Generally, when you get to the moon, you're going to need a way to actually get it. You can't just ride on birds or crap your way there. You're going to pay somebody else to do it for you, make a rocket, all this stuff that'll keep you safe. So you need gold. No, you don't have to do anything. You just paid your entire expedition. And anything else you want, because it's gold. Um, is this like just a single ingot of gold, or is this like a... There's, I don't know if there's, it doesn't have a quantitative state, so you can just be like, it is as much gold as you can imagine. As you're much gold as you you're Scrooge NASA. McDuck. Okay. You can <laughs> jump down and swim. <laughs> swim right, all guys, that I just, gold. Need to I just need to interrupt you quick. I've got to shoot off to work. I've just got to cash up, and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okie dokie. Uh, so don't be here as a winner. <laughs> I don't think I was going. Oh, you were so close. You were so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Night Owl, what is your idea? The best I've got is working out your trade uh, your kind of arc to the moon. You will okay. need yeah. a protractor. Ah, oh, see, that was my card oh. from earlier. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Done. Sorted. Just, just, just give it to me. Just give it to me. To sell me a protractor. I mean, you're a teacher. You've probably got one. You are welcome. Oh, God. <laughs> if you saw the choices I've got apart from that. I mean, the logic is there. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's better What's than intriguing? fucking hummingbirds. What's or intriguing? A Chinese takeout. What's intriguing is he's already given himself the D. But notice, it's not better than <laughs> gold. No, I, I kind of can't argue Look, with gold. You mean, if somebody went, oh, you want to fly to the moon, do you? Here's, do you want my protractor? Here's the awesome thing gold? about gold, right? And Rich, Rich brought this point up earlier, like a while ago. It's it's too easy, okay? That's it's, it's also quite heavy. <laughs> nah, gold's a soft metal. Yeah, exactly, soft metal. <laughs> it's it's too fine. easy, okay? It's fine. And I like a bit of challenge in my life. Um, and I think actually, if we follow with um, Scott's idea. Um, you know, you'd make history with that. So I am going to give it to Scott as well. And I, I think the idea is sound. The logic's there, absolutely. One B. 
bajillion hummingbirds. Yeah, just imagine it like a spin-off of the, I believe, is it Pixar film, Up? Just no, tie a um, bunch of hummingbirds to it. Yeah, I was thinking of James and the Giant Peach with all the seagulls, but yeah, ah, we can go. All right. both, both work. Yeah, both I, work. I didn't steal from either of those things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Rich's idea, the bum rocket. <laughs> 